No, we're we're gonna record you with the camera off today. Let me see. I don't no. see. I don't, it's yeah. You don't see the chicken. That's behind okay. You, we can take the turtle out then too. We'll just take it. Out. I'll just take it. Out. They're in here. Get them on the shelf. Uh, maybe we'll chicken up on the shelf too. Mm. Yeah, you can see the chicken now. Got the turtle in front of the chicken. That would be good. Oh, there. You can see him now. They're good. Now you can see them. Yep. They're there. Get all your people in there. I oh, know. They're so nice to think of me. Okay, we'll start. I'm, <laughs> I'm not centered. <laughs> there. That feels better. <laughs> I can't see it from back here, so I'm, I'm yeah. just going by the... It just felt like this was... I'm going by the mic. The mic is centered right on your nose. Yeah, now it is. It wasn't. <laughs> I felt like the, the lens was in the wrong place. It might have been. It was, because you turned it just well. a little. Okay. Well. <sighs> um, <laughs> I have to think start now. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I want to talk about my little lady, the bearded lady, that chicken. And the reason I do is I've um, been paying a lot of attention to her lately and I've been doing a lot of reading and a lot of um, trying to figure out what research research yeah what is really wrong with her and I did look up to see if there was any vets in the area there's no vets in the area other states have vets for chickens but we don't <clears throat> um, <laughs> I gotta start over <laughs> this is terrible it sounds blasé. <laughs> no, it didn't. It did. It did sound blasé. I'll start again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to start again. Hi, everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, we're going to talk about my little girl, the bearded lady. She has improved some. I'm going to put a little video in so that you can see her in how I see her. Now, I've been doing a lot of research trying to figure out what really is wrong with her and I have found that a lot of people that have chicken problems they don't even bother to look for a vet because they have them called instead. The, the um, little one, I think in my looking her over, because I, I thought, well gee, I wonder if she did hurt her shoulder, but it, her legs will move and she doesn't make any noise when I move the legs. Her feet are starting to, instead of instead of being out, they're starting to go like this, which I open her toes and, and lay it nice. When I pick her up, her right wing will just droop. It'll just, like, flop. When she gets down, her head will go like this and then down. Um, I think, now I'm not a doctor and I'm not a veterinarian, but with all that I'm reading and what I'm seeing, I think she had a stroke. And chickens can have strokes. I was reading about that too. And she, when I, when I put her into the, into her playpen, because that's where I have her, <laughs> and I kind of support her under her breastbone, she, she likes the feel of being able to look around, but she can't support herself. So when you let her down, she will flop to the right. So she must have had a stroke on the left side, which would um, bother the speech of her being able to cluck. And it would impair her being able to walk or stand. Her balance, that's gone. 
So I was telling Jim, I'm going to need a baby stroller if she continues to eat and drink and poop like she's supposed to. If I want to take her somewhere, I'm going to have to put her in a baby, baby, little baby stroller and wheel her around. So I'll have a chicken in a stroller and a chicken on my shoulder. <laughs> I'm going to look like a chicken lady for sure. I you guess Mr. G, lady. I guess Mr. G is right. I'm, I am the chicken lady. Yep. Uh, um, today, Emily came over and she was talking about proprioception how the autistic children, we're going to go on to autistic children for a minute, how they really don't have any sense of um, awareness where their bodies are. And a lot of people don't have a sense of awareness. And the way you can find out where you're, if you have that or not, you put your arms up like this. So now you can all do this. <laughs> it's Thanks. test time. It's an easy test though. You put your hands up like this. And then you go touch your nose, and then you touch your pinky. And now close your eyes and do it. And what you're supposed to do is you touch your nose, and you touch your pinky. Then you touch your nose, and touch your ring finger. You touch your nose. i got to touch my nose. <laughs> and you touch your middle finger. And you touch your nose, and you touch your pointer, and you touch your nose. And you do your thumb. Now, actually, you're supposed to start with the thumb first. I started the backwards, but you got the picture. You got how you're supposed to do it. And a lot of people, if they can't, if you know, like it's like it's like that test when they're you're drunk. Can you you should do left side and then right side too. Do the other side? Maybe I should. I'll try it. See. Nose, thumb. Because sometimes it's your a right-handed person. I can do it. Does no. better on the left. There's uh, no, there's no problem here. <laughs> no, you know. I know don't. my, I know my, my spatial. I feel I, <clears throat> I know where my body is. A lot of people don't know where their body is in space, and that's something that the, the autistic child really does not know. That's why, they either get right on top of you when they're talking, or they're way back there talking. You know, they just don't know. They don't know where they are. And I'm sure you've met people that feel like they're right on top of you when they're talking instead of stepping back. I actually had to have my glasses changed to where I could um, be in a good distance from somebody speaking because with the, my vision, I felt like they were too close and I had to go like this to, to, to talk to them. And so the eye doctor actually adjusted the upper for a little bit, which ruined my far distance because now... My far distance, I used to be able to see the signs. Two or three signs ahead, I could tell you what the name of the street was. Now I'm lucky if I can see the next street. But And I'm going to, now let's put that little video in. You're going to see my little lady, the bearded lady, and you're going to see pretty boy. No, not pretty boy. Whoa, he is a mm. pretty boy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. You're Mr. Brown. Brown, you're going to see him. I sometimes call him pretty boy. Because he is a pretty boy. I says, what you doing, pretty boy? Because I, I just do, but his, his name is Mr. Brown. And I call her pretty girl, even though her name is the bearded lady. But I do kind of change their names as I'm talking to them. Because it's an endearment, I think, is what it is when you're speaking to them. So let's go to that video right here. I thought I would share my little pretty girl, bearded lady, with you. She's She's been doing very good. She's got her head up higher today, but I think she's had a stroke is what I think it is. I have been straightening her toes because they seem to want to curl. She goes, er, 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 kind of noise, which is, that's the noise that she makes. So maybe she's trying to talk. You're doing very good. She's eating. She's drinking. Are you going to drink something for us or eat something? She's doing very good for the condition that she's in. The poor little thing. I've had to clean her three times so far and it's not even noon yet. I put a paper towel under her because then I can tell when she's pooped or peed or whatever she does because the paper towel shows staining on it real fast and this way she gets changed 
And Mr. Brown. Did you want out? Let me show you what he does when he comes out. He's already been out once, so I don't know if he'll do it now. Up. We'll see what you do. Down you go. Nope, he's not going to do it. He usually flutters around. In fact, he did it the last time. I had just taken him out, and I had just put him back, so maybe that's why. I'm sorry. We have to stay in the... You gotta stay in for a little while because I got work to do and I can't watch you and do work too. Okay, Mr. Brown, you're gonna come out. Up. Oh, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Here. Up. Now you can flutter. I'm gonna flutter some more. There you go. Trying to follow him is like really hard. There you go, little one. Wanna come over here? Hi, where are you gonna go? You gonna follow me? We're gonna go on the other side. I'm gonna go sit in my chair. Yesterday, or earlier today, I was in the other room and I come back to get him because I washed dishes and he was up on top of the chair. I thought, well, how did you do that? You flies a little bit, apparently. And there he is, Mr. Brown. Here, I'll put the towel on my leg so he can climb up. I don't like him to climb up without it because he might poop on me. Okay, here, let me turn a little bit. Uh, no, I want to turn the chair, not you. <laughs> okay. There he goes. Okay, come on up. Up, up, up. Atta boy. Where are you going to go? Hmm? Woo! There's nothing there. I took the other leg down. <laughs> Silly. Come on. Up here, are you going to come? Come on. Atta boy. Say hello, world. Oh, you're pecking at the camera. <laughs> He's pecking it. You're too funny. There's, you're in there. Whoops. Except you're all over the place. It makes it hard to follow you. He is so cute. Okay, Mr. Brown. That's it. That's your, that's your, your you look like a, a dinosaur in the lens. <laughs> you're funny, buddy. does all these little chirps. Okay. Now he's doing like a dust bathe. He thinks he's dust bathing in the towel. Are you going to hold your head up a little bit? You had it up just a minute ago. She must be warm in here because every now and then she has her mouth gapped. I opened the windows to try to cool it down a little bit, but it's still pretty warm in here. It's like wearing your winter coat in the house. It's going to rain. Soon it's going to rain. I can feel it. Her eyes are clear. See her eyes? They're clear. Okay. Emily wanted to hold the bearded lady. And when I picked her up, I noticed that she had pooped again. So guess what? We cleaned her up and now she's being held. And she's, she's really doing much better. She likes the attention. So she's, she's going to do all right, I think. As long as she keeps eating and drinking, she will do fine. Did you hear her trying to talk? I, I um, kind of said it a little bit, and then she did it next, so you could see, and she had her head up a little higher. I have actually changed her. She's pooped now. Oh, I hope nobody's eating, because there are people that are eating late. Gloria was eating late the other day, and, I, and I, she had just, I guess, got started, and um, I know 
gray wolf. <laughs> he doesn't like it. But you know, if you're from the country, which I am, this doesn't bother me at all. It's it's like it's a way of life. It's a way of life. Yeah. It's what happens it's like when you walk into the barn, you take a deep breath before you go into the barn because it's gonna stink. <laughs> at least I used yep. to. And then hope you could hold your breath long enough to be in there. And then when you had to breathe, oh my stars, what a smell! <laughs> the barns always smelled like the cows. Really stinky. But. Um, where was I going with this? <laughs> I was going with the chickens. Chickens. Oh, yeah. She was trying to talk a little bit, it sounded like. And you'll notice, and and um, Mr. Brown does his little flutter. He does it every time I put him down. And he did his flutter. He didn't do it as much as he usually does it. He usually does a lot. But he had been down several times. So he probably was thinking, well, I don't have to do my flutter. I've already done my exercise on my wings. So that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed listening to what I think is happening with my chickens and my little rooster. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And it rained. Oh, the gutters. Yes, they work. <laughs> it rained. Had so. to do a little adjustments on the, the downspouts, but... It, but it worked. It and worked. It stayed dry in there. And I, um, when I went outside, I actually went out in the rain because here's Dorothy and Emma. Why are they sleeping in the rain with their babies underneath them or sitting in the rain? It was like the other hens didn't want them to go into the enclosed run. So I put them in the closed run. And when I'm putting them in, they come back out. And I put them in and they come back out. It's like trying to catch ants. But I finally got them in and then they settled themselves underneath the little chicken house in the, in the dry area instead of out in the rain. Well, that is it. Now will, the sun's shining. Now the sun's shining? Okay, yep. well, I have to say goodbye, so we're going to stop. <laughs> okay, so, goodbye. See, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, so bye-bye.